Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the second problem of lead code weekly contest 333. Uh, it should be a medium level problem, but it is that it is an easy level problem. However, I don't feel so uh, because um, it's 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 relatively better than the uh, other easy problem that you get. So and generally the second problem is a medium one. So I think this is something that is uh, not aligned with the problem statement, and that can be seen in the accuracy as well. Just see the accuracy. So total submissions. Uh, 7.5000 and just the total accepted ones is this so not not an easy problem uh, maybe it's a typo or so that's what i feel but yeah so the problem statement is um the problem name is minimum operations to reduce an integer to zero so you are given a positive integer n you can do the following operations any number of times okay now what are those operations you can add or subtract a power of two from n okay any power of two Return the minimum number of operations to make n equal to zero. Now a number x is a power of two if x is if if x equals to two raised to i, where i is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. So given a number, what do you have to do? You can either add or subtract a power of two. And your aim is to make that number zero in a minimum number of operations. Okay. Let's see some examples. So here I have thirty nine. So the number that I have given is thirty nine. Okay. Now what I can do? One thing is, um, I can add one in this. So the first operation is add one. Okay, it becomes forty. Okay, it becomes forty. Now what you will do? From forty, you can. So this one is two raised to zero. Now from forty, you can subtract two raised to three. So that comes out to be thirty-two. Right. This is the first operation. This is the second operation. Now in the third operation, what you can do? Subtract two raised to five from this, and you get zero. So just see in three operations you have reduced thirty nine to zero. So that is what the problem is asking you to do. So first we have added a number or a power of two and then we have subtracted. Okay, let's take the second example. So second example is fifty four. So again, what you can do? You can add two raised to one here. So what do you get? You get fifty six. This is the first operation. Now from fifty six, add again two raised to three. What did what do you get? You get sixty four. This is the second operation, and in the third operation, just subtract two raised to six. You get zero. Again, in three operations, you are done, and hence the answer is three here. Okay, so this is what you need to do. Also, coincidentally, here the first operation is add here. Also, it is add. So it doesn't matter whether you perform an add operation or a subtract operation. All you need to do is you need to return the minimum number of steps. That's what the problem is asking you to do, right? So let's first talk about the approach. Okay. Uh, like how I approach the problem was, because that is the main thing. Yeah. So, just see one. Suppose you have a number n. Okay. Suppose you have a number n. Now, what do you will do? You can, and suppose there is a power of two. Uh, suppose thirty uh, two. Let me let me take this example only. So suppose I am given thirty nine, and I need to reduce it to zero. So what I can do? So just see here. What is the closest power of two to this number, right? So thirty nine. What are the two powers? So thirty nine is less than sixty four, and it is greater than thirty two. This is two raised to five, and this is two raised to six, right? So this lie is with within this range. Okay, thirty nine lie is 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 greater than thirty two and less than sixty four. So that means it lies between two raised to five and two raised to six. That's the first observation. Now what I can do is suppose suppose I start I start something like this. I start something like this that I am taking this step. I am taking this step. That means I will reduce thirty nine to thirty two. Okay, I'll reduce thirty nine to thirty two. Okay, so what I can do here? Okay, what what I can do here is just see if I reduce thirty nine to thirty two. So I am left with seven. I am left with seven. Now my aim, my new aim is to reduce this seven to zero. In one step, I have transformed thirty nine to thirty two. Now, I have got a new number seven. Now my aim is to reduce this to zero. Okay. Now again, what I can do? Similarly for seven, what I'll do? I'll check. So seven lies between four and eight, right? Seven lies between four and eight. That is two raised to two and two raised to three. So what I'll do? Again, I'll see what is the minimum number of steps to transform seven to zero. So it will be. It will be here. It will be. I can transform seven to eight, and then I can transform eight to zero. Simple, because this is a power of two. 
right so the first step was the first step that i took was transforming 39 into a lower power of 2 the second possibility is obviously transforming 39 to a higher power of 2 right so first convert into 32 and then see what happens and then convert it into uh, 64 and then see what happens these are the only two possibilities that you have right so in a nutshell what you can do is at every step at every step when you perform an operation suppose you perform this operation 39 is transformed to 32 you are left with 7 now just see what is the minimum number of steps to convert 7 to 0 so when you convert 7 to 8 this was one step now your new aim will be convert 8 to 0 right so at every step you're getting a new number so all you need to do is just uh, check for two possibilities that once you reduce it you reduce it like this and once you reduce it like this and in both these steps just see what is the minimum number of steps that you are getting take the min of these two and you are done okay so like if, if i show you that with the help of a code so again this is a typical dynamic programming problem that's what i see because when you transform 39 to 32 so what happens you are left with 7 now you need to you need to check what is the minimum number of steps to transform 7 to 0 so if i have calculated the result of this right what is the minimum number of steps to transform 7 to 0 so i can store it right i can store it means it is dependent on the smaller sub problem so here just see what i have done here i have taken i have taken an array for n i am calculating n values basically okay now dp no no for zero the answer will be zero because to change zero to zero you don't need any steps right now just see what i am doing start calculating for all the numbers from one to n from one to n start calculating because for n whatever residue whatever remainder whatever the leftover value is that will be less than n so you need to calculate all the values less than n that's what i have done you can write a recursive code as well i have written an iterative because um, again that was simple to write okay so just see what is the power so the power is um, so suppose you have 39 so just calculate log n base 2 you'll get the power so you'll get 5 you'll get the closest power less than or equal to this one right now what is the current value now the current value the current value here is what is the lower value so since i've got the value 5 i will calculate 2 raised to 5 i get 32 okay i get 32 so now what will be my uh, answer it will be not answer but the first value that means th transforming 39 to 32 that will be dp of i equals to 1 what is this one for for changing 39 to 32 this took one step and now i need to find the minimum number of steps to transform 32 to 0 so that is dp of i minus current now what is your i okay what is your i suppose for 39 i am calculating and current is 32 right current is 32 so then this value which you have already calculated will be used right this is the first thing now what was the other possibility transforming 39 to 64 so how you do that so math power of 2 raised to power plus 1 this was this was the power power plus 1 now again you do the same thing whatever answer you have minimum of whatever answer you have comma 1 plus this one is for changing 39 to 64 and dp of current minus 1 that means 64 minus 39 right and this value you have already calculated because actually you are running a loop from 1 to n right so that is why you are doing it incrementally for each number right so and finally obviously you return dp of n right so this is how you do it the the main observation here is whatever number you are given you will do something like this that this is a power of 2 2 raised to i and this is a power of 2 raised to i plus 1 simple step and then you are done okay and this is a dynamic programming problem because because again um it is dependent on the smaller sub problems plus you need to store those values so that it can be used for the larger numbers right so yeah that's it for this problem i hope you learned something new from this solution uh, do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel as well also also in case of any queries mention that under the comments i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye